Hi everyone, so um, in this video I'll be um, quickly going into the um, shed and where are they? Here we go. And showing you the finds I found as a twin one last week. Those are a set of four Vox Zafira wheel trims, which I was going to put on the Astra, but let's just say that car we're not going to be really uh, having for much longer, so I might just sell those. But yeah, anyway, um, let's just get into this video. So I'm going to start off with. This LDV centre cap right here. I'm very I'm pleased that I found this one because my first LDV centre cap. These are, I think these are starting to get rare now. And yeah, unfortunately though, it's got a um, trunk out the side. On the front, it's really dull. Plastic has sort of faded over time. Um, on the back, I think it's supposed to have rings to hold the centre cap onto the wheel, as you can see because of the um, the little indentations on the back. Um, I think they've rusted off because I found these two as a um, hidden finds, so that's probably the case. And these clips are really flimsy and stuff, they're like really brittle. Um, and about two or three of them have broken off since I've um, found it. So I'm going to have to be really careful on this one. I don't think these are actually brittle, but it's because it's really old, I think it's just starting to break. But yeah, for now I'll be keeping it, but I'm not really promising I'll keep it in the um, future. I might kind of spray paint it up and stuff for fun. Um, next up is this Ford Dorchester wheel trim. I think it's also, what was it called, it's from a Mondeo as well. It's definitely from a door chest, but I can't remember what um, other one it's off of. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, it's a really nice one. It looks massive. I didn't realise how massive these things were. I thought they were like 13 or 14 inch, but they're not. They're like 15 or 16 inch. In fact, I think they're actually just um, 15 inch. They look a lot bigger um, because of the design and stuff. Um, but yeah, on the front, I haven't cleaned any of these two yet, so but yeah. So you can't really see the um, wheel trim, you know. Um, all the damage and stuff has been caused but for what I can see under the dirt there's no damage whatsoever on the front apart from this like stone chip hold on there we go as you can see it sort of cracked it but that's barely noticeable um, and a little rust mark there but apart from that it's fine on the back there's no chip oh sorry on the front there's no chips at all or chunks out which is nice and on the back um, it's got three missing clips but there's four of them left which is good um, it's still got the ring as well but that it looks like that's going to break at any point now. Um, but the good thing is, though, if this ring does break, though, which would be a shame, but if it does, you can actually change this ring to a normal standard ring, which doesn't actually have these bends in it. Because if you can see on the back, the um, supporting beam, actually you can sort of put a ring just above it. So it'll be absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, because of the, um, like, you know, the tower and stuff on it, you know, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, I didn't, when I looked at the date, I couldn't see the date properly on the back. Because of the dirt and stuff, so I'll probably have to clean it before I take the date, but yeah. It's really, really nice um, wheel trim. Very, very nice find. Extremely hard to find that's not scrapped. It's just partially scrapped to the clips, but I'm still keeping it. And, um, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, bye guys.